As the artist as always, I'm back again. Today is small graph day. You know when it's small graph day, it's time to make some magic. Time waits for now, man. Let's get out. Here we are in cinema for demo and good people business as usual. It's small graph time. These are the assets for the day. So, you know not, all of these assets are found in the content browser. You just search for what you're looking for, you drag and drop. Okay, so, we gonna need our plane. Okay, 250. Bye, 250. What am I doing? Okay, segments, 100. 100 zoom out okay so let's deform this this is like the ground we have to deform our ground using a displacer okay shading we gotta use noise what kind of noise so uh, let's go Naki. let's crank the global scale something like 400 Bang. that looks good okay I have a material as well that is also found in there just type ground if you come to material then you just type ground there you have it drag and drop to the plane now it looks okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that angle okay now. So we have to clone all of these guys to our ground. Select all of them, drag and drop the cloner. Now let's change the cloning mode to objects. Our object will be our point. Okay, alright, now align to deselect that so they can stand up the weight good so now multi instance selected count let me put a thousand for now okay no complaints everything is uniform select your corner more graph effectors of course you guessed it randomize However, we don't want the position. Go to parameters. We want the rotation. I can make one eight in there. 35, 25. We just put random values. You know how that works. Okay, so now let me convert this to a smart object. Press C on the keyboard with that selected. So now we have to set our vector. Points mode. Go to select now set vertex weight boom zero percent value okay ah so now come to the vertex map we have to use fields what field do we have to use the spherical field will do but we have to get rid of trees it's not what we want let's move this baby out of there put it in now Okay, so we have to animate this. Best way in Cooper to do that is use the vibrate tag. We need the position. 200, 210. Let me hit play, let me hit play. That's good. That is too quick. Frequency, maybe 1.5. Or just one that it's okay as well so this is where the magic happens so now we have to add another plane effector okay clone selected now more breath effector plane effector so this is where we need the growth effect so in this plane go to parameters of course we need the position we need the scale the uniform scale 
they shall start from below zero. Minus one. We'll put the value on minus one there. So, go to fields. We are going to use the vertex map as a reference to that. You will see. Drag and drop your vertex. Boom. Okay, in this mode, let me hit play. As it stands, when the field moves around, it gets rid of our plants. Okay, does it uh, give growth? It removes those. We can reduce the size on this. Yes. And put 65. Perfect. So, how do we inv invert this? It's simple. Okay, come to the plane. Come to this option here. There's freeze, there's delay, there's all of that. We are looking for the invert. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the power of the mod graph. Together with the vertex map, that's what you can do. So let me pull this back. Let me bring back some of my plants. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Isaac's the artist, as always, I'm grateful for watching. If there's more that you want, something similar to this, you can drop the comments in the, uh, in the comment section. Check some links in the description. So, Isaac's the artist, as always, a more. Thank you.